Hey everybody, this is your Sam, and I'm going to show you how to make Alamount, which is the very first town that my readers are introduced to in I'm No Hero. It is the town that our hero is from, and if you remember the Lampris map, Alamount is way over here, and the capital is way over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create map, and this is in Incarnate again, and you can see Incarnate.com maps create up here in the corner. And you have different styles that you can toy with here. There's a fantasy regional classic, which you can make, you know, your regional maps that show where your cities are placed and lakes and all that good stuff. You've got a parchment world for like your overall map that's not too detailed but you need to show like where some of your countries are and all that good stuff and then of course the fantasy world where you can actually add mountains and everything like that rather when you couldn't in the parchment world and there's also the fantasy regional which is really great for cities and towns and things like that as you can see and that's probably what we're going to be using but I do want to show you this um, one right here this is a battle map it's in the beta stages right now but it's really good to show like a top-down version of maybe a town or a couple buildings or a dungeon or something like that and it's really neat but we're going to stick with the fantasy regional map I'm going to choose this style I'm going to be doing landscape for this one because Alamount's kind of elongated and uh, yeah so we're doing landscape 40 by 30 tiles and we're going to create map and what I like to do over here is I like to show the grid so you have all these squares right here and it just kind of it helps me <laughs> create so I'm going to go over here to the brush tool and we are going to open the catalog over here to the right and here are your different brushes that you can use there's grass there's like snow there's water and there's all kinds of weird little in-between colors right in here Alamount is very grassy, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do grass. I'm going to make sure that I'm in the background layer because I'm adding land. And Alamount is basically surrounded by the Gala River, so I'm going to leave the Gala River here along the edge, but I'm going to fill in right about here and then fill in the rest of the map. And as you can see this is kind of a I can always make the shape bigger so it fills up more there we go all right so now we have our grasses and all that good stuff and Alamount is a smaller town so it's not going to be huge and it's not going to be very detailed because we are talking about me here <laughs> So let me um, show you what I just did again. Okay, so over here are your tools. This is your stamp tool right here. So I'm choosing the stamp and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open the catalog again over here to the right. This is where you can add mountains, trees, waterfalls, and every little detail that you want. It was built by the river for a reason. So we have different little docks here and you can see there's one through four of different docks and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger so we have a dock here and a dock here it's a fishing town so yeah and then we're going to add another dock right here I'm going to go back to the stamps. Actually, I'm still in the stamps, so we don't have to go back to it. <laughs> My bad. But we're going to go ahead and add a little ship here. So we've got some boats. And I'm going to do, let's see, let's 
to a number two here kind of place it right there and I'm going to go up here to the arrow and it's the select tool so I can kind of turn this around a little bit I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller and yeah there we go go back to the stamp tool I'm gonna choose a different boat let's do this one and we'll put it right there how's that okay open a catalog again now you can hit the F key to open the catalog instead of clicking over there all the time I just kind of forget that every now and then <laughs> And then we're going to put a crane right here beside the dock and right here beside this one and I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose this other crane right here to put on this one and we'll make it just a little bit smaller there we are go back to our little thing here and this is mostly a farming town but yeah so you have like a city stamp already kind of set up right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right there make it just a little bit bigger so that you can really see the buildings and I'm like with that I do have the church right here so that's great let's move it just a little bit up here and go back to the catalog and we are going to build us some walls Alamount is surrounded by wooden walls it's not surrounded by anything too fancy <laughs> and that's mainly because of they are not the richest people here but they don't do too bad either and what I just did is I did a little opening so that one's going to be a little bit out of the norm put that right there get a different angle going here if it's gonna let me <laughs> It's kind of a slow process doing this, but it's usually well worth it. Let's see if I can't. Not turning it's going to make it go all wonky and not attach right. that I need to add right here. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe that will do it. It's still gonna look a little wonky, but you know what? That's fine. All right, so let's open the catalog back up. All right, here I am going to be adding a couple of guard houses, and I know that this is a little bit uh, boring. <laughs> It's not the most exciting thing to watch, even if you're trying to learn how to do stuff with Incarnate, it's just better to play around with it yourself. But as you can see, I'm using mostly the stamp tool and I'm adding little hay bales and stuff like that to make it a little bit more realistic, a little bit more like a town. And I'm adding more buildings and I'm making them bigger or smaller according to what I need them to be 
and it's just all how you have your town planned as to how you're going to build your town in Incarnate or whatever platform that you're using to make your town, make a visible rep representation of your town. Now, as most of you know, towns do grow kind of out of themselves if they're doing well. And Alamount has grown out of itself <laughs> because people kind of keep moving there. It's a river town. The Gala is the river that it sits on. And the Gala is the largest trade river that there is in the country of Lampris and it also flows into other countries so kind of think of it like an interstate for today it's the trade route it's the it's the way to travel in my world of i'm no hero so with that being said when there is a bend in the river or like a crossroads or something like that a town is going to pop up there and with Alamount being perched where it is, it has a lot of things going for it and it continues to grow. So it has grown out of its walls and lo and behold, it kind of has a well-known family or a renowned family. Well, it once was, <laughs> let's put it that way. And that family has moved from their home of many many generations to live just outside of Alamount for two generations now. They're working on the third generation. That coupled with the largest Welkin tribe being just across the river, yeah, Alamount's growing <laughs> and it's just going to get bigger. It's going to probably given a couple of hundred years which is not really covered in I'm no hero unless I go with the next generation or something later on and create a new series I just want to comment on this there I was going to put a citadel in there and then yeah I was like no um because the main guard, the um, head guard, does live in kind of like a stone house. <laughs> and I thought the Citadel looked pretty cool for his house, but it's, it's just too large. And it's it's got a courtyard and everything, and it just it didn't work. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, it's growing out of itself. So Alamut has a lot of buildings outside of the walls. It has some homes outside of the walls. There's not really a huge threat to the people of Alamount. Uh, there's no longer wars. There's not really a huge need for walls just to keep out wildlife and, and things like that. And that can be done with fences and, you know, whatnot. So here I am putting some more buildings in. That's going to be Doc's house, I do believe. Um, just because I like the look of it. It's, it's got an open front and everything. So I've been putting in houses here, putting in buildings that are mentioned in the story, particularly in the first uh, chapters, few chapters, because you have to, you know, she has family there and that's where we start out. And here I am putting in roads into the town so that, yeah, so from the gate to the the dock there and in through the town going in between the buildings you know humans like the path of least resistance you go on to the church because that's one of the main drags there and then out the other gate and there is a road that goes to that dock and then there are some that go along the river edge the river doesn't really flood all that much but they have built the road just in case it does happen. <laughs> so yeah. And yeah. I don't know if I said this, but I was editing this and I realized that there is a lot of dead space while I was concentrating on putting some houses in there and everything. So I wanted to do a talk over and go from there.
I hope you enjoy watching me do this. I am going to be doing one for Galaness, which is the capital of Lampris and where Nadasha ends up spending a lot of her time in the books because she has to go to the capital in order to get all the quests and everything and that's where the royals are, that's where the council is, that's where she is going to be spending a lot of time in book one or the, the latter part of book one and book two and all that good stuff. There are going to be a couple more cities that I'm going to make and that she spends some time in. There's going to be a swamp area. There's going to be another city in another country. And there's also going to be Steer's city that he currently lives in. So yeah, look forward to those. I'm not sure if I'm going to video them like I have been doing this. I might just do this on my own <laughs> and then show you the aftermath and talk about some of the buildings and some of the characters that we find there some of the uh what you would call i guess npcs <laughs> and all that good stuff so yeah i hope you enjoy this and i if you have any questions about incarnate i am by no means an expert but i will be glad to show you where you can find the facts or if I do have the answers, I will be happy to share that with you as well. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that like button. And if you like the look of Alamount, <laughs> go ahead and hit that like button as well. I know it's a little rough. I am by no means a town designer. I never will be, but you know, this is just rough and tumble kind of thing and I did this fairly quickly with what I had pictured in my mind. So it is what it is. Anyway, thank you for watching and make sure to keep writing, be kind to one another, and smile about something today and I will see you in my next video because I post videos every Thursday and Sunday. Most of them are scheduled for around 11 a.m. but some of them may come in later or earlier. Depends on, you know, how much YouTube aggravates me. <laughs> now, I do the live streams every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as well so keep that in mind and yeah. See you next time.